So as more cases of COVID-19 have been confirmed globally and specifically in South Africa, it does remain important that our staff and students are fully aware of the facts around this disease. So there are several ways that you can try to protect yourself from being infected. That includes regular hand washing with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Think of taking the time it takes to sing happy birthday twice. Alternatively, you can use a hand sanitizer if it is available. Try to avoid touching your face, your mouth and your eyes and try and avoid touching potentially contaminated surfaces. Some of the symptoms are mild to severe respiratory illness with fever, cough and difficulty breathing. If you think you may have contracted the virus, then please consult your health practitioner and consider self-quarantine to avoid spreading the virus while awaiting confirmation. If you live in a communal house or with a family, try to keep at least one metre distance from family and friends wherever possible. Sneezing and coughing etiquette is essential, so please cough into your elbow. It remains important for us all to understand exactly what this virus is. So the novel coronavirus that is currently circulating in the country has been officially named the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2, otherwise known as SARS-CoV-2. And COVID-19 is the name of the disease caused by this virus. So coronaviruses are a group of viruses that infect humans and animals and have been circulating for many years. There are several of these circulating in humans and they are usually associated with a mild respiratory illness. Occasionally a coronavirus infecting an animal can evolve to cause disease in humans. In other words, this virus has crossed the species barrier. And this is what happened during the SARS outbreak in 2002 and this is what has happened in the current outbreak that we have. So we have a new or novel virus circulating among a naive population in other words, this is a population with no existing immunity to the virus. This virus was only discovered at the beginning of the year, so obviously the situation is evolving. There's still a lot that we do not know about the virus. We do, however, know that it is spread by droplets and that people older than 16 and people with certain pre-existing health conditions appear to be at a higher risk of developing a more severe disease. Currently there's no vaccine or specific treatment available. The Rector and Vice-Chancellor, Professor Francis Peterson, has established a coronavirus task team and this consists of representatives from the various key function areas on the campuses. This team meet frequently to discuss contingency and preparedness plans for the university's three campuses. The task team is liaising with the Provincial Department of Health as well as the National Institute for Communicable Diseases in Johannesburg in order to provide up-to-date information to all of our staff and students. Regular communication and updates are distributed on the university's website, social media platforms, the staff intranet and on Blackboard. The websites of the World Health Organization and the National Institute for Communicable Diseases are primary sources of reliable information. Please remember fake news is everywhere. It is advisable to consult these primary sources for any information. The UFS has put the necessary contingency and preparedness plans in place should there be an outbreak of the virus in our university community.